Alright, so this is my third try on this fucking video. Um, so that's the box projector came in. I have a 63-inch laptop projector stand here. This is the projector. Uh, it's got like a faux leather plastic texture to it. Um, it's got an HDMI input, a USB-A, a micro B for some reason, and a headphone jack. It uses 40 watts less power than my Dell. And it has uh, this laptop-style brick with a uh, non-grounded pin or plug. It's got this nice remote, which is an actual remote, as opposed to what my Dell uses, which is one of these little plastic things. Um, this is a 16 by 9 projector, so I will be losing about 9 inches of screen real estate compared to that on uh, 4 by 3 content. Um, and I'm going to move this bed from where it is now to that way. I'm going to move that over where the nightstand is and put the nightstand back next to the bed. So that way it opens up this room more. And uh, then I'm going to put the projector at the foot of the bed because this actually has horizontal shift. Uh, this is a native 1080p projector, whereas that will accept 1080p images, but it is a 720p projector. Um, and I already did a video on that one. So I will talk about what I think is better uh, color-wise, what the difference between 3 LCD and uh, the DLP, which is in that one. Um, and I will get into that. So I'm going to go set this up and move my shit around. And then I'll get back to you and stitch this together in Caden Life. Alright, so I was hoping to uh, finish the second part of this video uh, in one day. Uh, that didn't work out as planned. It took forever to set this up and do everything and test it. And uh, the biggest issue I'm having is with the way this stand is. Uh, let me turn on the light. With the way this stand is, you kind of have to move it back and forth and angle it here and there and then fuck around with the uh, lens shift and whatnot uh, to kind of get the picture perfect. Um, so I was hoping originally to get 100 inches. I ended up at 105 and then I managed to get it down to 103 and uh, I think this is the closest I'm going to get so I have to actually stand back. So this is 101 inches. Um, I'm playing Super Mario Brothers U, uh, Wii U, whatever the fuck. Uh, Super Mario 3D World, actually, was the name of it. Uh, playing that. Um, I did play some Xbox, and I watched a couple movies last night. I've been watching a lot of TV. Um, with the way I lay down, so I have the bed there now. Um, from an angle, if I'm going to get a screen, I'd like to have it at least a two-inch border. So I tried to get it two inches from where the door frame is there. Um, so having it offset like that actually helps when you're laying in bed. Um, I think 105 was a bit too much. Um, I think about 100 inches would be perfect. Um I've been looking at screens, and most likely I'm going to get my own, because what I've noticed is a lot of uh, the pre-made screens aren't actually 100 inches. And so, uh, 87 by 49 is 100 inches. A lot of them are like 86 or 85 by like 46, uh, which is not 100 inches at all. Um, so I'm just going to make my own, so that way I know it is 100 inches for sure. Um, I think the biggest problem with, uh, setting this up is I don't have a guide to kind of throw it onto, so there's that issue. Um, comparing this with my, uh, DLP Dell projector, uh, 1080p versus 720p, um, is quite significant increase, actually. I didn't think it would be that big of an increase, because, again, going from 720p to 1080p isn't that big a deal, um... But I do notice it is a lot sharper. Um, which I didn't think it would be the case, but uh, here, here we are. It is a lot sharper. Um, it's still not as sharp as 4K would be, but it is noticeably better. Um, the other thing is the 3LCD versus uh, 
DOP with RGB LEDs. Um, this is way better. The colors are fantastic. Um, they are very rich and vibrant. Um, I just don't know how else to put it other than it's phenomenal. Um, you can actually adjust the red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow uh, to get it perfect. I haven't fucked around with that personally. I have done some modifications to the vivid mode to kind of get it just the way I want it. Um, so as you can see, I kind of have this at an angle here, kind of uh, going that way. So it, it is getting thrown at an angle. Um, and that's about dead, actually. So if we go there, so I have it at 6 vertical keystone and horizontal is 30. Um, let me go ahead and plug this in. The only problem with the Wii U is, uh, kind of sucks, honestly, on battery. Battery life is just crap. Um, the gamepad battery life is just crap. Um, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. And trying not to fuck up. There we go. That's plugged in. So I'm going to turn on this light for a second so you guys can see this better. So. I have uh, this kind of going upwards at an angle. If you can kind of see. Uh, so that's going upwards at an angle. And then it's pointed at an angle to the screen. Um, but that is a 101 inch picture. Um, I think it's like 95 for movies in the 2, 4, uh, 2, 3, 9, whatever fucking aspect ratio that is. Um, yeah, it's just from where I lay in bed, like, this is fantastic. Although, like, if I'm actually laying in bed, so this is how I would kind of view it from an angle. Although, uh, my phone's kind of doing some weird shit where it's not, uh, it's kind of zooming in. It's not that small, um, from where I'm viewing it. My phone's just zooming in for some reason. Um, the colors are pretty accurate compared to what I'm looking at on the screen, though. Um, but yeah, 101 inches from 11, uh, 10 and a half, 11 feet is, uh, perfect. Um, I would prefer to get it at 100 inches exactly, uh, just, just personal preference. Um, I don't think it'd make much of a difference, but I would want to get a dedicated screen. Uh, not just because projecting it on a wall is crap, but I don't know if it's noticeable. There's a hole in the wall here, another hole in the wall here, another hole in the wall here. Another hole in the wall here. There's three fucking holes in the wall. Um, there's some patched holes in the wall here. Um, there's some black crap that's just stuck to the wall. Um, I don't know if this will show up, but you can actually see the pixels if you get close enough. Um, so that's why it's much sharper, because the pixels are just smaller. Um, but yeah, so I have, uh, an extension cord going around the door, and then it's tied with a, uh, twist tie there, and then that gets plugged in right there, and that orange one goes to that extension cord, which is where all my game consoles are, then I have the HDMI cable, uh, kind of going around here, then I have, uh, the headphone jack in the floor there, um, going underneath the bed. So if I turn this on, um, so I have my headphones going to the projector and that goes, uh, underneath the bed to my, uh, right there. Um, so all in all, this is a great setup and, uh, 
this is a great projector. Epson did a great job. Um, the colors of 3LCD are phenomenal. And uh, I don't really have a lot of experience with 3LCD. Uh, I've had more experience with DLP than anything. But what I will say is, even though projecting onto this wall, I had the issue with my DLP projector. Um, that the white, the black saturation was great, but the white uh, saturation, not so much. The white saturation is a lot better on this, but it's still not great. And uh, part of that could just be the, you know, the fucking wall sucks. Um, so I'm going to look at getting a proper screen or making a proper screen. And then uh, uh, the only other thing I have to figure out is what I'm going to do with the sensor bar. Because I have to find a way to get that somewhat on the wall or something. Um, I might be able to get like a stand and put it there. Um, we will see what I can do with that. Um, but yeah, the Epson EF11 is a great projector and I would highly recommend it. Um, it's not the best even in a bright room like this, uh, but it's much more visible um, than uh, the, uh, Dell was, uh, although this is only a hundred nits brighter than the Dell, so it's not that much better. Um, I mean, anytime you have bright lights, you're going to get a washed out image unless you're using a ambient light rejecting screen. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video and I'm going to enjoy this projector.